So when I was a kid, there was this other kid called Thomas. Thomas and I hated each other's guts for God knows what reason. But the point was that he was just an incredibly gifted athlete. I mean, he was just naturally talented at any sport that he set his mind to. I mean, he would just pick it up instantly and be great at it within five minutes. He would consistently lord over the fact that I was uncoordinated and a terrible athlete. You know, I smoked and so I didn't have any, you know, no kind of cardio, right? He wiped the floor with me and make me look like a fool. And he'd do so deliberately, right? And I felt really shitty when he did that. But <laughs> of course I had my revenge in the classroom, you know, uh, because I was just naturally gifted at a whole bunch of subjects, especially math, and he was weak at math. And so I just lord it over him. I just humiliate him. And so we, we, we would swap back and forth these humiliations, right? And at the same time, we would not, not only like humiliate each other deliberately, but show off the fact to everybody else that we were humiliating the other. Both of us were incredibly talented in our respective fields. He was very talented athletically. I was very talented in so far as math is concerned, right? And so we would show each other up as a way to, first of all, uh, you know, separate ourselves from each other and from the pack. There's a video I posted here about why guys do crazy shit. And this is sort of related to all that. So we were young, we were kids, you know, high schoolers. And uh, we'd show each other up. But you see, it was all based on this natural talent that we each possessed. But we hadn't done anything to earn what we had. We were just good at it. We'd just been born that way, right? No different from one of those kids, one of those asshole kids, you know, the, the son of a rich man who drives around in some very, very expensive car. Well, he didn't earn that now, did he? He just got it. He just happened to be born uh, from the right womb and, and have all this cash at his disposal. Right? Well, it's the same thing. You see, talent, talent is what you're born with. And you might be very talented in so, some areas and untalented in other areas. I mean, like in my case, I was very talented uh, in math and the classroom generally. I was a smart kid. Let's just be blunt about it. I was a smart kid, naturally just high IQ, but you know, I couldn't shoot a basketball to save my life. I was awful at it, you know? Uh, I was just a bad athlete. I just didn't have any hand-eye coordination. I just, you know, no talent in that regard. And Thomas was, all the talent in the world in that regard. And so we would show each other up. But you see, there's a great difference between being naturally talented at something and developing an ability in something. The two are not the same. There's talent and then there's ability. And ability is what you work at. And I'll give you a specific example. Now, this kid, Thomas, he was, uh, apart from being physically very talented, I mean, uh, as an athlete, he was an exceptionally handsome kid. I mean, he was really like, he stood out. So he would get girls and he was naturally shy. So he didn't really know how to handle girls. So he would just get girls and, and the girls would fight among themselves over this catch, right? Because he was so handsome but he didn't know how to get girls at all. He didn't have that ability. He just looked good. Now, me, on the other hand, I was <laughs> like I am now, but worse, okay? I mean, I was pimply, I was gawky, you know, not good looking, okay? I mean, it's just as simple as that. And so I had to work at it. I had to work at getting girls. And sure, when I started out, you know, Thomas would get all the girls and I'd be left with the hairy palm, right? But over time, over the years, and I kept in touch with him. I, I know where he, more or less he's living at, right? Over the years and then decades, right? I got good at girls. I got good at getting girls and, and getting them for different reasons. You know, a one night stand or, or a long-term relationship. I knew how to do it because I developed that ability. I worked at it because I didn't have any talent at picking up girls. I wasn't handsome. And, and not only was I not handsome, I was socially awkward. Um, because I was so smart, I tended to elevate the conversation and try to make it interesting. And of course, it would just bore girls silly because I didn't understand uh, that what I found interesting was not what some girl would find interesting. And that adjustment was a huge thing that took like over a decade, right? But the point I'm trying to make here, see, is that I had to work at this shit, at, at picking up women, at being socially at ease. 
I had to work at it and it took a long time. It was something that I developed over time. It was an ability, not a talent. And poor Thomas, right? He wound up <laughs> marrying the first chick who, uh, who fucked him, right? And uh, from what I understand, things are not going very well. And, and he didn't have any options, right? That, that's the point. He had no options, just this girl, and he decided to marry her, but you know, for no clear reason, because he figured this was the best he could do. He hadn't developed the ability. He had the talent, the raw talent. He was handsome, right? But he didn't develop the ability to find the right woman, right? And, and, and see, this, this is a distinction I want to make in this video, and it's so, so important. See, when you're young and you have a particular talent, you show it off. You show off this great talent that you have, and you lord it over other people because you have this talent, because it separates you from your peers. It makes you distinct, unique, hopefully better, superior, therefore able to get girls. Because at the end of the day, remember, we're animals. And everything that we're doing is in order to get the best mates. That's why we're doing it. But see, when you're young, you have a talent, you lord it over other people, and it's it, essentially, it's, it's like an arrogant ignorance because you have this talent, but you didn't do anything to earn it. You just have it. You're good at school, or you're good on the, on, on the basketball court, or you're very handsome, and so girls flock to you. You have this talent, but you didn't develop it. Development is the key issue. Whatever quality you want, you want to be good at girls, you want to be good in school, you want to be good on, on the basketball court, you have to work at it. And as you work on it, you go from arrogant ignorance to what you could call humble knowledge. Because as you work at something, you start to realize how difficult it actually is. You see, you might have some talent and you might be very good at something, anything. It doesn't matter what it is. But as you try to develop it consciously, as you consciously try to develop a talent and turn it into an ability, something that has been improved upon by the work that you put into it, you're going to start to realize that this quality that you want is difficult to achieve. And maybe that talent pushes you, you know, 20% or 30 or 40 or 50% to the way to success, right? Because talent will never take you all the way to 100% to success. It'll only take you part way there. As you work on your talent, practice it, gain ability, okay, you're going to see how hard it is to get to the very top. Now, I had zero athletic talent, and I tried to develop it as I got older, uh, and I realized I would never be talented, but I learned to appreciate how difficult certain things are. I was fortunate enough to be born with a lot of brains, right? And when I was young, I was an arrogant shit because, you know, I was born with brains and just like the, the kid who was born rich and has a fancy car, you know, I thought I was cool, not because of what I'd been born with, but because I was special somehow. But over the years, I realized that being smart was just not enough. You have to develop it. You have to develop ability, real ability, okay? And as I developed real ability and the different things that interest me, I discovered how hard it is, and that gave me humility. Okay? And I realized something else, that there are people who are very, very talented, but who are in almost in a very real sense afraid to develop their ability. They just stay on their talent, and they act all arrogant and like dickheads, just based on their talent. Their, their ignorant arrogance is because they haven't developed their talent into an ability. You, you see the distinction I'm trying to make here? They're ignorant and arrogant, and so they're limited by the amount of talent that they have at something. But those who work their talent, those who take their talent that might have put them at the 30% mark and try to push it all the way to the 100% mark, those people, as they work at it, they develop more knowledge and more humility. You ever talk to a professional athlete? You should. It's really interesting. A professional athlete, I mean somebody who's really good at what they do, right? They'll all tell you that they were naturally gifted when they were young and they developed it, right? But as they developed it and they realized how hard it was to be truly great at something, to reach that 100% mark, they developed naturally a humility. 
And that's what you want to be. You want to take whatever talent you have, whatever God-given talent you've been blessed with, brains, looks, whatever it is, and develop it. Push it forward. Push it all the way to the 100%. Because I'll tell you right now, you know, and you probably know this for a fact, that if you're just naturally talented at something, you've probably been an arrogant shithead about it to other people because you're young. It's the normal thing. As I said, it's the only thing that distinguishes them from their peers. It makes them special. And they want to be special in order to get the girls, right? Don't limit yourself. Don't stay there at that stage of being talented. Just push it forward because you will become a better man because of it. And it's not to say that, you know, being humble is good just because. No, because when you're humble, you look at possibilities and you realize that there's always more to learn. When you're arrogant, you think that your way is best and you figure that this is as good as it gets. There is no path forward. You see, that's the difference between arrogance and humility. And that's why it's so important. Because the arrogant man feels that he's perfect and so there's no need to improve. There's no room for improvement. The arrogant man just says that you know his level is the level, the only level. But the humble man, the humble man will reach his limits and he will know that there is something further. And he'll try to push forward to be greater than he is. You see what I'm trying to say? You see how important it is to make that distinction between talent and ability? Between what you're born with and what you develop through your own hard work? Because you want to do that in everything. Especially the things that matter most to you. Matter most to you as a man. Matter most to you in terms of making your way through the world. You want to work at them. And I'll tell you right now, you can work at everything. You can work at everything and improve every facet of your life. No matter how limited you might think your talent in that area might be. You might think that you, know, you have zero talent for girls. Right? You might think that you have zero talent for social interaction. You may think that you have zero talent for athletics or whatever. And I'm here to tell you that that fact that you have zero talent is no reason to accept failure. The fact that you are not talented at something simply means that your starting block is at the 5% mark or maybe the 10% mark, not at the 30 or 50% mark like those people who are more talented than you. But that doesn't mean that you're not going to make 100%. Just because you start at the 5% mark doesn't mean that you're going to be a failure in the race. It'll take you longer. Sure, it'll take you longer. You'll have to work harder. Yes, you will have to work harder. But that doesn't mean that you will fail. And, and here's the beauty of it. See, like I said, Thomas was a very handsome guy. He could get any girl he wanted, but he didn't know how to handle girls. So he was stuck with the first one who came along. I was not handsome. <laughs> I wasn't handsome and I wasn't charming. And I had to work at it. And I had to learn things. I had to learn to be funny. I had to learn to be charming. I had to learn the, the, the social niceties to slide in, right? I learned that stuff. I worked at it. I got better. And now, in that ability, Thomas is way back in the dust in my rearview mirror, right? You see what I'm trying to say here? Don't think that who you are is all you will ever be. You keep on pushing in some area that matters to you, you will be better at it. Know that for a fact.